Hey there, Garrett Sussman of AIPRM. AIPRM is this awesome Chrome extension that works on top of ChatGPT for free. Now, if you work in healthcare, if you're a doctor or a dentist or work at a practice and you're doing marketing, maybe you're part of a team or the only marketer or you're actually a doctor trying to do the marketing for your practice, well, you've got a lot of other things going on. And sometimes we find ourselves at a standstill, not knowing where to begin, not knowing what to do. That's where ChatGPT comes into play. You've heard about it, but you've tried to use it and you see this blank page and you're like, what do I prompt? How do I actually use it? Especially in the healthcare industry where HIPAA is critical and you have to be really conscious and conscientious of what content you put on your website or use on social media. That said, ChatGPT and AIPRM are great for this. So what we're actually going to do today is I'm going to go through a few different use cases on how you can use this for your practice. Now remember, sometimes there's big one-off use case prompts. And remember, a prompt is basically a explanation to the chatbot explaining what you wanted to do, how you wanted to do it, what the constraints are, and what expectations, what outputs you expect to see. With AIPRM, it's all under the hood behind the scenes, so you don't actually have to create the prompt yourself. You just put in like the Mad Libs information and ChatGPT does the rest. So in this example, we've got AIPRM in front of us. And remember, you can download the, in the Chrome extension for free and install it at AIPRM. Dot com. So in this first example, I want to do a social media post. So I'm going to do a boost your social media engagement, proven content ideas. And so in this case, I need to provide, you know, the niche, the target audience and the social media channel that I want to produce content for. So in this case, I'm going to do it for a dentist. We're going to be kids, dentist, family dentist, and we're going to do it for Instagram. So I click on the prompt. And then I put in my information down below. Now on the premium plans, you can actually choose the tone and style that you want to use. So, you know, if I want to do something that's clinical or if I want to do something that's confident or if I'm working with kids and I want to do something that's friendly, I can choose a friendly tone. Same with writing style, creative, critical, informative, metaphorical, journalistic, persuasive, technical, all these different really cool um, options here. So I'll just leave that default for now. So we got a friendly one for social media. All we do is we press enter and we let ChatGPT do its thing and, and look at these answers right out of the gate. It's giving us those 10 engaging Instagram post ideas for the dental practice for kids. So first one, a meet the team video. If you're going to go there with kids, isn't it great for them to get to know the team? Friendly introduction. Tooth fairy tale story post. That's a really fun and friendly way to engage kids about where they may, might be afraid of going to the dentist. Dental FAQs for parents. Remember, even though the kids are the ones coming to the practice, the parents are the target audience. And it goes on and on. These are great ideas that you can use for your social media that's not going to bust HIPAA. It's not going to be problematic for your practice or your license. Second example and prompt that we're going to do is for getting a monthly content calendar in one click. So this might be for actual blog posts that you want to have written for your website. So when people are searching for information about your healthcare practice, about your doctor's practice, about your dentist, that they can find you online because you're writing something that speaks to them. Remember, we also have entire blog article prompts on AIPRM. How cool is that? One click, entire blog post. But for this, we're going to do our monthly content calendar. And for this, it's all going to be about educational content for healthy eating. Isn't that a great subject for you to give to your potential you know, patients? So we're just going to press enter here. We're not even going to do tone and style. Just click enter. And then all of a sudden, we let ChatGPT do its thing. And boom, we start getting the specific content calendar actually broken into a table. So we have Monday and Wednesday and Friday. We're going to do it every three days, a beginner's guide, effortless meal prep for healthy eating. I love that. Essential vitamins and minerals, the secret to longevity. The underrated ingredient can change your life. It's a little clickbaity, but interesting nonetheless. Unearth the power of antioxidants, your body's best friend. So think about all of these great articles that you can produce that, that really promote healthy eating for your practice. Really great marketing content so you can focus 
on working with your patients and doing the things that you do best as a doctor or a dentist or a healthcare professional in any capacity. The third one is one of my personal favorites. This one is all about email marketing, sending really great emails that are helpful to your target audience. So in this case, we have an actual write an email marketing campaign. And what we've got set up here is you can choose the number of emails, you can choose your business name, you can choose your industry, we'll do healthcare, we'll create my healthy places is my creative business name. And then the email copy framework in marketing, there are different types of frameworks, styles for writing emails. So three examples here are the problem agitate solve, the attention, um, interest, desire, and action, storytelling, and then the length of the email. So we're going to do short, we could do short, medium, or long. And then for this, we're going to do how to prepare for a checkup. What should your patients potentially do? And these are three emails you'd be able to send out to your list or anyone who signs up for an appointment. So we just click enter there and all of a sudden we've got email one, actual subject lines, why your annual checkup matters, first name, because you know with a lot of email service providers you can actually personalize it with their name in there. You put in that placeholder and then it'll automatically pull in the information, you know? And so the first one is obviously with storytelling. So, you know, once upon a time, I walked into my annual checkup, like you, I was, wasn't sure how to make the most of these appointments. Now, working with my health, there you go. A great story all about the checkup. Next one, preparation for your checkup. And you can keep going. We have this continue guide, it goes on and on and on. So even though you're in the healthcare industry and you have to be hypersensitive to the marketing materials that you create not to give any sort of misleading information or give out any private information, you can still use generative AI to do your marketing. How cool is that? And obviously, if you do want to do anything more personal and not depend on the thousands of prompts in the AI PRM library, you can actually build your own prompts. We have all sorts of tutorials on how you can do that. And if you do have any questions, you can always visit our community forum, the AI PRM community forum. Remember, that's AIPRM.com. Just visit our website. Try the Chrome extension for free. It works on top of ChatGPT, which is free. And once you get into it, if you want to extend it to your team, if you want to use those tones and custom writing styles and some of our other amazing features like live crawling, accessing the internet for ChatGPT, we do have premium plans. Thanks for watching. Hope this is helpful. Love to see you there on ChatGPT generating content with AI.